congratulations to everyone who took the August LSAT and got your scores back today. I hope that you crushed it. Regardless of the outcome, know that your LSAT score does not define you and you can retake. Coming up, we've got a couple of LSATs later this year. We have the October LSAT about four weeks away. We have the November LSAT a little over two months away. And then of course, there's the January, February and beyond. And the October LSAT, of course, doesn't give us that much time, just a, about a month or so. And so if you already feel like you have a strong foundation and just want to brush up on some weak areas or take a few more time practice tests, of course, you could go for the October LSAT. However, if you're feeling like you need a bit more time to achieve your fullest potential and you're not close to your goal score yet, I would then recommend instead going for the November LSAT because with two plus months, there's a lot of time you can make anything happen, especially if you're not starting from scratch. And for some of you, you may want to take both the October and the November LSATs. In fact, I never recommend that anybody take the LSAT only once because law schools do not average multiple LSAT scores. They only take the highest. What that means is that there's really not much downside to retaking. If you could do even just a point or two better, it's worth delaying your application by even a month or two. The LSAT score is the number one factor in the law school admissions process. And just a few more points can lead to significant scholarship money, getting into a better law school or both. And so if you feel like this LSAT test date was not it for you, don't worry. There's still plenty of time. You can take the LSAT in November and still apply fairly early in the cycle. It used to be the case that the November LSAT was considered late. That is no longer the case. It is actually a little bit early in the cycle and January is right in the middle. So January is fine too. Of course, the LSAT has transitioned from paper and pencil to in-person on a tablet. And now it's online at home. It's also a new four-section LSAT with an experimental section. So three scored sections plus one unscored experimental section. So make sure that you're taking all your practice tests in the realistic test day conditions that you will experience on test day. I've put together a quick FAQ on the four section LSAT format. I've linked it below this video and below this podcast episode as well. And so check it out for more. If you have any questions or need anything at all, you can reach out to me anytime at help at LSATunplugged.com. I encourage you get in touch. I have a lot of resources that I'd love to share with you. In the meantime, I wish you all the best with your prep and take care. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.